Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to show you how to create a pinch pot with a top. And on the top, you are going to do a symbol of some kind that uh, relates to you. And you'll notice that we have texture in this pinch pot. It's not fake texture, it's real texture. And to do a pinch pot, the first thing we need to do is to get yourself some clay, wedged clay. And I like to make it into a ball first. You need a nice ball. So you kind of do it by squishing it together into a nice round shape. Now, you've heard that nursery rhyme, maybe Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his some kind of pie, and then he stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum. Well, for this project, for this pinch pot, what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and push it into the ball of clay until you have maybe this much left on the bottom. Kind of feel where that goes. It's right here. And I went about that far. I could go a little farther, so I'm going to. All right, the next step is to rotate the clay around. And while you're rotating, you're pinching your hand together kind of like an alligator. You're not pinching like this. You're pinching with the flat. Thinner. So I'm going to turn it and pinch, turn and pinch, turn and pinch until I'll show you what it looks like on the inside now. You can see it's getting a little bit wider and a little bit taller. And I'm just going to keep pinching it until it's about the thickness of my pinky finger. Now to make it sit flat, I just kind of plop it on the ground like that. And you can see how the bottom gets a little bit flatter. All right, so I can set it down. And I can pinch it out a little wider. Just keeping going around in circles like this. And there I have a pinch pot. If I want to make the top flatter, I can do it by kind of tapping it on my table. And then I've got a flat top. So that's the bottom of the pot. You're going to need to put some texture into it. And I'll show you how to do some of that. Well, you can use stamps. And whenever you push into clay, you want to support the other side with your fingers. Otherwise, you'll put a hole through your clay. I can stamp textures into it. I can create textures with forks. I can create textures with anything. What I do is I just look around my house to see what kind of cool things I might find to help create texture. This is just a regular old screw head that I'm going to push in there to make a little cross. Or uh, this is some type of a wire thing that I could roll on to get an interesting texture. I could use just a stick to do repeated patterns. I could use the stick to make lines by pressing in. Can do anything to create the texture. What else do I have? Oh, look at that. I have a dog collar chain. It's too small for my dog now, so I can use it for this. I can push this into my clay. Voila. I have a texture. Hmm. So you need to text make some texture on your pot somehow. I don't care how you do it, as long as it looks cool and interesting. So there's the bottom of your pot. Now we have to make the top, and you need to make a slab. And if you watched my How to Make a Slab video, you'll know that you need another round ball of clay. Make it into a ball again, pound it into a ball, and I'm just going to flatten it by putting my hand on and pressing down. Putting my hand on and pressing down. Okay, and I'm hoping it fits on my project, but let's find out. Oh, look at that. It kind of does. And if I wanted it to fit really well, I could just kind of trim it around. Well, that's actually pretty good. The side there. And whenever you're working with clay, you do want to kind of smooth edges and things like that as you go. So I can do that by just smoothing with my finger. I don't want any rough edges. All right, and on your top, what we have to do is we have to make it fit and we have to do something to make the top stay on. If I did 
just made the top like this and I fired it, it would just slide right off the top. So in order to make the top stay, what we have to do is put little uh, barriers on the side where it hits in here so that um, the top, when it goes on, if it slides, it's going to stop and not fly off. So I can kind of tip it sideways a little bit and it won't fall off. So to do that, you're just going to attach clay, attach a small coil, and you do that by rolling a coil and two coils, I guess, but I'll just roll one and cut it in half. And how do you attach clay? Yes, that's right. You score it. Score it. And now i got to figure out where to put it on the inside. So I am going to, I kind of have to guess at this a little bit. Score where it's going to go. Use a little slip. Attach the coil piece. I can round it a little bit. Now make sure you push hard, but I want to test it to make sure it fits first before I push it on all the way. Oh, nice. Perfect. So I would push this on nice and hard. I would take some type of tool or my finger and smooth this. Smooth it out really nicely. Make sure it's squished on tightly. All right, smooth it a little bit more. Now you're going to have to attach something onto the top, your decoration. And you can see this person made a, I don't know what they made. So you can put something on sticking up that way, or you can put something on flat like this, or you can decorate the top and add something on. But what you have to do is, because this one is a little bit thick, it's thicker than my thumb, this clay, it has to have a hole in the bottom so that the air can escape. So after they put it on, they put a hole in the bottom so the air can escape. Well, here's my little person that I made. Actually, it's a rooster. And I could put the rooster on this way, but you can see I put some holes in the bottom, or I'm going to carve the bottom out a little bit so it's a little thinner. Or I could put my rooster on this way if I wanted to. And you attach it just the way you attach all other clay pieces. Score, 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 score. Put some slip on. Attach. Pressing down, smushing it. I think I'm going to blend it in just a little bit just so it stays really well all the way around then I can smooth it I should be able to hold it up without that falling off and I have made my little pinch pot now what you do have to do is you have to clean it up nicely you have to get rid of rough edges you have to make sure things stay on and you want to make sure that it's got some nice textures on it and then it reflects you. We'll look at some of the textures there. There we go. So play around with tools and see what kind of textures you can make. All right, then on the bottom, because sometimes people forget what they make, you always want to put your initials in. And probably your class period, if you're in class period three or four or five or whatever it is, put your class period in. Or if you have a number for yourself or something like that. All right, there is your pinch pot. And this is a bisque fire pinch pot. Ta-da!